All right, hi guys. So I'm in the process of doing myself a fill. Well, really a full set. Uh, all of these have come off. These, I only have like one, two lashes or something like that left. So yeah, what I'm gonna be using today is a B curl lash. So it's DY017. And of course these are, I don't have to say it, but they are um, just ones that are being offered by my brand. Again, this is DY017 and it is in a B curl. Let me open that up so you guys can see that. And if you can tell, it is already in the desired map. Uh, this is more of a doll eye where you have the longer lengths in the middle and the shorter lengths on the side. So all you typically have to do is just take them off of the, out of the um, tray and apply them the way that they come. So you can go from outer to inner, inner to outer, however you want to do it, you can do it that way. So I have my lashes. Of course, I have my um, pre-bonder, which I use, just use the uh, Falscara as a pre kind of um, pre-adhesive. And then I have my tweezers. Now you can use any tweezers you'd like. These are the ones I prefer to use. Um, so I have that and my fan. Of course, I do have my cleaner. You should always clean the eye area as well as wash your hands and desanitize them as well. Or sanitize your hands, not desanitize. But yeah, let me get all of my stuff together in order and I'll be back. All right, guys. So first things first, like I said, you always want to sanitize your hands. If you're going to be playing around your face, your eyes, you want to wash your hands and sanitize them. Okay, hand sanitized. Then you wanna go in with your uh, cleaner so that you can clean the eye area. Now I have already applied some to this cotton ball and preferably I would say to use something that has no lint. So no lint wipes are better. Uh, this cotton ball is just all I could get my hands on, but you wanna avoid any type of lint cause that could get caught in your eyelashes and defeat the purpose of you cleaning them, right? So once I've done that, I take the Falscara. That's what I'm using here today because I ran out of the one that I have that is uh, part of my brand. But stay tuned and that will be back in stock here soon. Let me just get myself together. Okay, so I'm gonna be, like I said, just taking them right off of the tray the way that they are. Um, these don't specifically have a size only because they're mixed sizes. So it's about 16 in the middle, 14s on the side, and then probably 10s right here. So that's how we're going to apply them. I'm going to take the one in the middle first, because that's what I'm going to do is how I'm going to be applying them. Now, right now I haven't applied my pre-bonding yet, and that's what I'm going to do. But I just wanted to take these off of the track. So to make it a little bit easier when I go in to apply them. All right, so I'm not gonna take all of them off, but okay, there's that. So you guys have seen me do this a couple times now, so you know how easy it is. I will say, I think I'm running low. That's the thing, this stuff don't last that long. Okay. So I'm going to take it right here. Now, like I said, there are some that are still here. And I'm just going to go right over the base of them with this adhesive. <clears throat> because I will be using another adhesive as well. So this is what I use just for pre-bonding to get the lash on there and to, you know, get it to stick. Be careful, guys, about your eye. You don't want to go too far like I just did. Anyway. Okay, so that's just to help the lashes gravitate towards your lashes. Uh, make sure I didn't get anything in my eye. Because like I said, I think I did. <laughs> but we're going to make sure it's out. Okay. All right, so then I go ahead and take my lash. Here's the lash tray. And I pick it up by the bottom. And then you can do it with your hands since they are clean and reposition it. 
And how I do is just reposition it to the fact that this is sticking up since that's where I'm going to be putting the adhesive and applying it to my eye. Now I have placed the adhesive I have and I've been using Lash Tight. Now I do have another adhesive that I use from an actual place that I get it from in Orlando. And shout out to Lordy. Lordy Lou, I think her name is. But she's the one that put me on it. And I just happened to be in this area. So I ran on over and got myself some of that adhesive. But I, I'm running out. And I'll show you guys it in a minute. But the lady doesn't seem to offer it online. So I don't know. I talked to her about it briefly. And she was like, you know. That she's been getting a lot of inquiries about it ever since Lordy put her on the site. And I was like, yes, ma'am. Because the girls are looking for an adhesive that is long lasting and not hard to the touch. So anyway, this is what it looks like. Uh, and it has LG on it, but that's about it. Um, and yeah, like I said, I am running all out. And I purchased two of them at the same time, so... That just goes to show you, I've used a lot of it. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go in with this second one right here on the side. And hopefully I can just pick it up the way I need it. And then what I do with the adhesive. Now, I do have both black as well as clear lash tight. I tend to mix them up. The black dries so fast, so at least I'll have the clear there too take up the slack but with that being said the clear kind of dries a little hard and crunchy so you know and I'm gonna just put it on this side God being careful not to put it on your last line I don't know how much I can stress that but you don't want to do it okay so that's the two right next to each other of course I Know that this side will probably be a little bit thicker, but I'm going to go in with just uh, a second layer in the middle as well, since this one already had lashes on it. All right. And I think I did this one backwards, but we'll see. Oops. All right. And a little bit goes a long way. Remember that. You don't want to be sitting around here with... glue clogging your eyes up and then it gets stuck to the bottom one and child it's just a mess anyway all right so i'm gonna just shut up continue to do this and yeah you guys just watch me work so is this one that i could have taken off yes i think so Now, I will say one thing, guys, with the lash tight that I don't tend to get from the other adhesive um, is the fact that the, although it doesn't burn, it does not burn at all. It is the fumes from the lash tight that, if you can see, my eye is watering. And, yeah, there we go. But it doesn't burn. It does not burn at all. Um, I don't have a problem with my eyes stinging or anything to that effect. Like I said, it's just the fumes. Last sight doesn't have as a, um, how would I say, it? strong, a strong uh, odor or um, fume as the regular individual lash um, adhesive, but it does have somewhat of a odor or fume, I should say, because the fumes are what's making the, you know, making my eye water up. So I'm just going to take this last one here. And for now, I think I'm going to do, oops, 
just uh maybe one uh And like I said, girl, and I'm always saying girl, but y'all know what I mean. Guys, girls, us, we, <laughs> they, all of us. All right, so there's that. Um, Yeah, I'm going to do this eye. Now, of course, you guys see that I didn't put any in my inner corner. I did put that little one, but... I'm always sketchy about the inner corner of my eye, but I am going to put one, not dab smack in the corner, but I'm going to put another one there just to give it uh, a more voluminous look. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye off camera and I'll be back. Okay guys, so I have finished this eye and um, for the most part, I think they're okay. Of course, I have to go in the inner corner here and put one there, but I think I'm going to leave them this way. I don't think I'm going to try to apply a second layer. You can if you like. I'm not really a big lash girl. It's okay for me just to have lashes, honey, to open these eyes up, but I guess I will, though, demonstrate just um, a second layer so that you can see just how thick you can get them. Also, do keep in mind that you can also, I apply mine from underneath, you can apply them on top. So keep in mind that even if you do them underneath, you can also put a second layer on top to kind of, you know, sandwich them in. There's no damage to your lashes simply because you're not going to pull them off. You're going to use the remover. So with that being said, there's absolutely no way to damage your lashes. You're going to apply the remover drops either to a Q-tip or you can apply them directly work them in and then just slide them right off so that's just something to let you guys know that you know you have more options than just applying them on top obviously okay so and this last tight i tell you what the fumes today and i don't know if it's just because it's early in the morning as well but these fumes are no joke if you can tell, both of my eyes are watering, and I usually only have issues with one. But, yeah, we're going to make this quick, easy, and painless. So, I'm looking at my my uh, mirror right here. And so, I'm just going to apply one right here. Oh, that right there. I put it too far in my eye. And now it's burning. All right, guys. So I have completed the final look. This is the eye I did on camera. This one I did off camera. Again, this is a B curl. And it is DY017. This is, again, what they look like. They're already pre-mapped, if you can tell. Longer in the middle, shorter on the sides. A classic doll eye. So, yeah, guys, get into it. Boss Babes on the go. 20 minutes and you're out of the door. Full set of lashes. And for a fraction of the cost. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Boss Babes on the go. 20 minutes out the door. Get yours today. <laughs>